Americans first learned that multiple children were killed in their classrooms today. Heartache swept the nation along with shock. The news was especially hard for Floridians remembering the mass shooting in Parkland just four years ago. Melanie Michael joins us live tonight with more on that part of the story. Well, good evening to you both. That Parkland student says this moment brought him right back to the Parkland moment, and he has a message for families in Texas. It's crazy to uh, have that thought come in mind that you might not make it out of this school. For Zach Hipschman, February 14th, 2018, is a day too painful to remember, but impossible to forget. He ran for his life that day, terrified and helpless. He says he felt hunted like an animal. Felt like you were out in the wild, you know, where you don't have any of that comfort, you have nothing, and you're being chased by a lion or something like that. Like that true, primitive fight or flight response where almost like it's your body kicking in. Zach was a junior in high school when the Parkland shooting happened. Now as a senior at the University of Florida, he still suffers from severe PTSD, especially on days like this. His heart goes out to Texas with a message. Grieving is definitely not, you know, it's not a sprint, it's not a race, it's a marathon. And so personally, you need to make sure that you're doing everything you can to help yourself. Don't, you know, don't try to wake up two days later and forget about everything and, you know, pretend that it's past you because it's not. It's going to stay with you, as you said, for a long time. Um, it'll be with you for your whole entire life and you really need to allow yourself the time to reach out to people, show your appreciation to loved ones and really cherish the moments that you have with everyone. Zach is hoping families across the country lean on each other for strength. He says no one can do this alone. It's definitely in these moments that we learn that love is more powerful than evil. Um, that's absolutely the case. I learned after the Parkland shooting um, that a strong and loving community really is everything. And you know, Zach tells me that out of these moments of despair come hope. He says again, lean on each other, be in that community, and know that one day there is healing, although it is a continuous process. I'm Melanie Michael, live in Tampa. Eight on your side.